Hi folks and welcome to another edition of my bedside book review. Today my review is of Eva Alton's Witch's Mirror and this is the second book in the Vampires of Emberberry series but it's actually the fourth book in the world that Eva has created altogether and there will be I think two more books to come in this series. We've already seen The Stray Witch where we met Alba who is a very incompetent witch. She didn't know she was a witch right at the very beginning and we've also met a few of the other characters um, through the novellas that accompany this series and they are The Vampire's Assistant and A Winter's Cobalt Kiss and you can see reviews of those on the channel as well. Now this book a witch's, the Witch's Mirror, or just Witch's Mirror, um, follows on from The Stray Witch and we have Alba who has just pledged an oath to follow the rules of the cloister where she is now um, the assistant to the vampires that live in Emberbury. But she's had to pledge this oath in blood and she's not overly happy about that. Straight away after this um, oath is taken, she starts to break the rules. Now, Alba, wherever she goes, chaos seems to follow her and she ends up on a journey to Italy to find out more about her witchy traits. But she begins her journey not really knowing where she stands with Clarence, the spiffingly dressed dapper gentleman who also happens to be a 200 year old vampire. And Clarence seems to be going through a mid-vampire life crisis at the moment as he tries to sort of come to terms with falling in love with a witch and sort of actually putting out there whether he does love her or not. I loved this book. Um, this series, each book that I have read from it just gives you a little bit of a glimmer into the characters, a little bit more that you can get your teeth stuck into. And with this one, I found that I fell a little bit more in love with Clarence and his vulnerabilities. And I just think that the author is doing a fantastic job of weaving this magic together. And the romance in it is just something beautiful. Now before I had said I wished for something a bit more steamy but actually I think it is purely magical. 